Technology serves a variety of purposes and means different things to different people. In today's world, technology can be found at every corner. While some are reluctant to embrace new technological advancements, most of us have some form of technology in our household. The smartphone and laptop are probably the two pieces of technology most households have. There is no debating that technology has become integral in our daily lives, for better and maybe for worse. Internet The most useful technology of modern times which help us in our daily lives. For educational purposes, it is widely used to gather information and to do research or add to the knowledge of various subjects. It plays a very vital role in education. It is no doubt that in this modern era, everyone prefers Google for their queries, problems, or doubts. Popular search engines like Google and Yahoo are the topmost choice of people as they offer an easy and instant reach to the vast amount of information in just a few seconds. It contains a wealth of knowledge that can be searched at any time. The internet has introduced improvements in technology and communication. Search engines will be a great help on today's lesson. Using technology in the conduct of survey to find out the following elements to be observed in planting trees and fruit bearing trees, market demands for fruits, sources of fruit bearing trees, and famous orchard farms in the country. In your search engine, type in the words to get the information you wanted. Factors to be considered in planting trees and fruit-bearing trees. Climate. It is the most important factor which affects the growth of the trees. It has been observed that varieties of trees grow best in certain climate conditions. Temperature The growth of the plants depend upon the degree of how cold or hot the atmosphere is at certain period of time. Sunlight Sunlight is the main provider of energy in the process of food manufacture of the plant. Rainfall Rainfall is very important in the growth of all kinds of plants and trees. However, it must be controlled or moderate so as not to flood and drown the growing trees with water. Soil The medium for growing in the trees which provides nutrients in plants as it contains mineral elements necessary for a normal plant growth and development of the trees.
mineral and organic soil composed of inorganic substances with varying amounts of decaying and partly decayed organic matter which would help in the growth of plants. Fertilizer These are added to the soil to increase its productivity. Organic fertilizer are those who come from compost of decayed fruits and vegetables, peelings, animal manures, and food washing. Inorganic fertilizer are those that are made up of synthetic materials and are substitute for organic fertilizer. Planting trees requires careful study of various factors to ensure its proper adaptability and growth. These factors in planting trees and fruit-bearing trees are to be considered importantly to achieve success in this industry. Market demands for fruits. Demand. Demand is the quantity of a good or service that consumers and businesses are willing and able to buy at a given price in a given time period. Market demand is the sum of the individual demand for a product from buyers in the market. If more buyers enter the market and they have the ability to pay for items on sale, then market demand at each price level will rise. Harvesting fruits to market Harvesting is picking fruits in their season when they are ready to be sold or eaten. Harvesting is done at the different seasons depending on the characteristics of each product. The right time to harvest depends on the following factors. The price of fruits in the market. The beginning of harvest season of any fruit commands the highest price in the market. This is because the fruits are new in market and are not as abundant as when they are in the peak of harvest season. The distance of the farm to the market. Transportation comprises a big expenditures in marketing the product. The farther the farm is to the market, the higher the transportation cost. Likewise, the rate of ripening and deterioration may be affected by the length of time it takes for the product to reach the market. The period of storage of harvested fruits before bringing them to market. The longer the storage, the higher the risk of the fruits to deteriorate. When some products became overripe and close to deteriorating, they cannot be sold at a higher price than they are fresh and at the right degree of maturity or ripeness. The right time to harvest depends on the following factors. Buyers select fruits 
and other products of good quality based on size, shape, and appearance. Good quality fruits have the same appearance, size, stage of maturity, state of freshness, and shape. Fruits should be in their freshness state when being sold. They can command higher prices. Pack fruits properly in good containers to maintain their freshness and to avoid cuts, bruises, and blemishes. Price your products based on the current price on the market. Going with the current price makes your product competitive. Generally, when products are sold during the peak season, if your products are of superior quality, you can demand a higher price. Many consumers prefer to pay a higher price if they feel they are getting their money's worth. Fruit-bearing trees are available and sold in different stages of growth and ready to be transplanted. Bureau of Plant and Industries they develop scientific improvement for each plant species in a locality and adjacent places. Department of Agriculture Responsible for any agricultural activities in terms of vegetables and fruits. Agricultural Institution This is schools that offers a course related to agriculture and other plant studies. Commercial Nursery Run by private individuals usually offering landscaping, materials, and services. Famous Orchard Farms in the Philippines Rosa Farms, Zampales, Philippines Rosa Farms is a 12.5 hectare mango orchard in the coastal province of Zampales, home of the Philippine Carabao Mango. The farm has 888 mango trees nurtured for years. Kitsis Farm, Zambales, Philippines Kitsis Farm has dozens of fruit berry mango trees scattered across its 15 hectares land, with each tree yielding at least 200 kilos each. Kitsis Farm also offers oyster mushrooms. Gapos Grapes Farm, Bawang La Union Gapos Farm has been in business for 30 years. The Gapos brothers learned the ins and outs of grapes growing in California. Banana Farm in Davao Region Banana is the leading fruit grown in the Philippines and a consistent top dollar earner. Davao Golden Pomelo Farm, Davao City. Carmelita Mercado is the top pomelo producer and distributor in the Philippines. The farm has 350 hectares of sweet Pink Flesh Pomelo Nikas Rambutan Farm, Barangay La Paz, Tibiao, Antique The Rambutan tree belongs to a group of 
fruit-bearing tropical trees like longan and lychee. The name Rambutan came from an Indonesian name, Rambut, which means pear. Grace's Lanzones Farm, Guyam, Indang Cavite, Philippines. It has 200 fully grown Lanzones that earn about 120,000 to 150,000 per harvest. The Landan Farm, Bayumbong, Nueva Vizcaya, Philippines. The Landan or Cahel originated from China. This fruit is flattened and turns yellow or reddish orange when mature. It consists of 10 to 14 segments easily separated from one another to form an open core. <laughs>